Greetings from the pastor's office, Faith Community Church. Tonight I'm going to be in Solomon, Song of Solomon, Chapter 2. It's been a, an exciting day in America, and guess what? God is still in control. Tonight I want to talk about, and continue to talk about, God's love. I had a word of knowledge this past week, and the word was, when you sense love, you sense God. Now stop and think about that. I was looking at my little dog later that day, and I love that little white chihuahua, and he's so tiny and just absolutely trusts my wife and I and depends on my wife and I. And, and I thought about how much I love that little dog. And again, I thought about that word of knowledge. When you sense love, God is present. Whether it's loving a little dog or your spouse or your child or your parent, whatever it is, because God is is love and we haven't really understood that we we see the results of love the fruit of love the, uh, all this that we need in our life but every good thing comes down from the father of lights in whom there's no variableness God loves you and everything in your life that's good came from God the Bible tells us that in James and Tonight, talking about Song of Solomon, and of course, that's the book of love and how a husband and a wife are supposed to love each other. And, but it also demonstrates how we're to love God and we're to love each other. And so in Solomon chapter uh, 2, verse 4, the scripture says, He brought me into a banqueting house, and his banner over me was love. And I thought, oh, Lord, let that be our church. Faith Community Church, house of love. He brought me into a banquet house, one that was filled with love. And so that's what our vision should be. It should be the presence of God in God's love. I also have been saying, and you're going to see it again on another banner that I'm having made, love, love, love. God is love. And if you stop and think about that, you're quoting scripture, you're speaking to God, you're receiving from God, and God is directing his love to you, and you can direct your love, that love of God, to yourself, to your mind, your thoughts, your actions, your words, whatever it might be. You can direct that love, which is God, into that situation. And so I've started saying that to myself. Love, love, love. God is love. If I start having a thought about somebody or a situation or something that might upset me, and I think, stop to think about it, I think love, love, love. God is love automatically my thoughts change automatically then something is new there something is empowered there something is now I have a choice I can keep thinking ugly or I can think about the love of God and the goodness of God I can even bring God and his love into the situation I want you to think about somebody tonight that that you really like and you say oh I can love them I can direct love toward them that's good now I want you to think about somebody that you might not like and I want you to say, wait a minute, love, 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 God is love, and direct God's love toward that person. Maybe just find one good thing about that person, because everybody has something good that you know about. You think, wait a minute, that one good thing, I'm directing God's love to that person. Because we have failed if we, com we failed completely if we have not loved. Our life is to be a full fruitful life, and it all comes through the love of God. So often I pray, God, show us the transforming power that comes with your love. Because when God so loved the world, he gave his son. He loved the world when he created it. He loved the idea of making man and woman and children, and, and he loved all the plants. I, I saw on, on my phone this week uh, a painted bunting. Uh, look that bird up. Every collar there is on one little bird. And I say, I looked at that and I enlarged it on my phone. I said, God, what you do? How do you do that? How do you put all those little feathers together? Every feather a different collar. Why'd you do that? Because he loved to. He just wanted to. And he says, watch this. And he dazzles us with all of the animals. He dazzles us with all the flowers, with all of creation. God is in creation. 
That's why when people say, and too bad, that they often say it in excuse to not go to church, they'll say, well, I find God in creation. Well, of course you do, because God's there. But just think about it. You can go to church and experience the presence of God and go out to the woods or the lake or whatever and experience the presence of God. Be with other people. and experience. So why not take it all in and divide it up rightly the way God wants us to, to love him and to love each other. And when we think about God's love, that's the glorification. That's God sending his son to us. When we receive his son, God is being glorified. The Bible tells us the angels in heaven rejoice when one person comes to Jesus Christ. So I want to ask you tonight, how many people have you led to Jesus Christ? Have you ever led anybody to Christ? Have you ever thought about it? If not, why not? God gave you his love, not to keep, but to pass on to others. And so think about that. Think about that when you see somebody uh, that you're not familiar with. Or let's get down to the brass tacks. Say hello to somebody of a different race from you next time you're in Wagmans, next time you're at the store, next time, because so many times, and it works every way, we walk right by people, even of our own culture, and we don't see them because we're thinking about something else. But when it moves into the black, the white, the Hispanic, the Asian, the, you know, we start grouping and separating even further apart. We need to stop and say, wait a minute, uh, God loves that person as much as he loves me. I love that person. Say hello to them. You don't have to say, oh, by the way, I'm sending you love, 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 love. <laughs> They're going to think you're crazy. But you can say that in your head. You can say that in your heart because God sent that love to you. And so when we look at his banner over us is love, we need to have the vision that God has given us, that this church, Faith Community Church, is to be a house of love. And you can either help it or you can hinder it. Give and allow the love of God to pass through you. Now, I want to read, I was reading uh, T.D. Jakes, Bishop Jakes, uh, today, and he says this, One of the greatest barriers to your advancement is your current comfort zone. I'll read that again. One of the greatest barriers to your advancement, your spiritual advancement, your psychological advancement, is your current comfort zone. So let me ask you this. Are you comfortable? Are you comfortable with God? Then you're hindering yourself because your barrier to your advancement is your comfort zone. I have this little ashtray that's in my office and it says life begins at the end of your comfort zone so many of us of course we're comfortable in our zone we want to stay there we've got security we know the fact but life begins outside or life begins at the end of your comfort zone when you're ready to jump off and follow god in the supernatural and i challenged the church sunday and i have plenty of these cards give me a call i'll send you one it's a House of Love pledge card for 2021, and it says this. Now think about this. This is serious. I do promise and pledge in 2021 to love everybody that Jesus loves. I do promise and pledge in 2021 to love everybody that Jesus loves. Can you find anybody? Can you look at anybody and see somebody that Jesus doesn't love? No, of course you can't. So that means, and it's a discipline, love, 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 because God is love. God, I'm, you know, it's transforming power. I'm not there, our church isn't there, but we're headed that direction. We're making a pledge, pledge to Jesus Christ. We're making a pledge to God Almighty. As a church, as a house of love, I do pledge to love everybody that Jesus loves. So take that as a challenge tonight. Take that as a challenge in your life. That's the challenge for our church. And I'll know it works when all we're talking about is love, 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 because God is love. So remember that tonight. Blessings on you, blessings on your family, blessings on this church, the other churches in the building. Understand and seek, loose yourself to the love of God in Jesus Christ. And I thank you for that. God bless you.